Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Positively Osceolas. Today, we are going to show you all the things that have to do with Wild Florida. We're just 20 minutes south of St. Cloud, and we're literally at a hidden gem. This is real, this is Florida. And so we're gonna kind of introduce you to Andrew. Andrew is a part of the Croc Squad, and we have some very special friends with us here today, and we're so excited to share that with you. Yeah, so, one of them wants to eat the cameraman yeah. right now. <laughs> He's right here. <laughs> so yeah, we're in here with our male-female pair of albino American alligators. But yeah, this is Blizzard. He is a 13-year-old uh, adult male albino American alligator, and he's just awesome. That's his girlfriend right there, that snowflake. Oh my gosh, how cute. And obviously they're very white, which is not a gator that you would see out in the wild normally, typically in our backyard in Florida. So tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so these animals exhibit what's known as albinism, and that's just a lack of black pigment. So when they're born, uh, they actually have normal striping, just like a normally colored alligator. Uh, just because they don't have any black pigment, they're striped yellow and pink, and as they get big like this, they kind of fade out to this yellowish white. So because they don't have any black pigment, you can see right through to the blood vessels of the eyes, and that's what gives them that pink coloration. And uh, because of that, they are pretty much blind. I'll sometimes see, think, oh, they can see a little, but uh, <laughs> you'll see when I toss them food, they're pretty much blind. They don't see very well at all. So what senses do they rely on if they can't see very well? So they rely very heavily on their sense of hearing. That's actually why he's getting all excited. They're really smart when it comes to getting food. He knows my voice brings food. And here he goes, there you go, he got it. Um, so yeah, they rely very heavily on hearing, on smell, and then all on their face, they have little black dots um, that act almost like a cat's whiskers. So he can actually feel us like moving around right. up here. So yeah, they're very aware we're in here. They just can't see you all. All right, everyone, that's going to wrap it up today. Again, this is Chrissy with Positively Osceola, and we have Andrew here from the Croc Squad at Wild Florida. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.